really, really quick. Free agency spotlight today. We're talking about Los Angeles Rams uh, cornerback Tremaine Johnson out of Montana. Um, they got the big sky we back talking some Lions talk. And, um, you know, he's listed as one of the top corners of, uh, in free agency. Definitely buyers beware right here. Um, you know, pro football focus had ranked at one of the worst corners in, in the league, except for in touchdowns. He was one of the best at now not allowing touchdowns, but, um, you know, he has his ups and downs. The Rams, you know, said they want to resign him after trading for Marcus Peters. You remember they lost out on Janoris Jack Rabbit, Jack Rabbit Robinson, excuse me. I mean, Jenkins, um, you know, pro, uh, you know, Tremaine Johnson has been up and down. I really don't go into deep analytics like Linux, like pro football focus. It's just too, it's just too deep. You know, analytics really can't tell you, you know, it can't measure some things on the field. You know, um, tendencies are made to be broken. And, um, but, uh, Johnson is, is big. He's 6'2", 200 plus pounds running late four fives, or, you know, four, six, one area. Um, got good length. Um, good at the line and jamming, but um, you know I wouldn't pay for him. His price tag is going to be very, very high, astronomically high. Somebody's going to overpay for him, or like it may be the Raiders, it might be down between the Raiders and the Rams, and maybe a dark horse team in there too. Uh, he's too iffy, man. He hasn't so consistency in coverage and in coverage. He hasn't so consistency, you know, you know, being a top flight deep cornerback. You know, he hasn't shown that 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 reliability, man, to, to really garnish that big money that he's going to be looking for. I wouldn't pay him that big money. Um, definitely our key word in these free agent spotlights has been value. We talked about a, about a value, guys. This guy won't be a value guy. I think it's some value guys out there that's going to have a bigger and better impact on another team. I think, uh, you know, Dante Poe is one. I think uh, Isaiah Crowell is one. I think Carlos Hyde is one. We talked about, I think, uh, Star Lay Lute. We haven't got to, but we talked about him. Um, Sheldon Richardson might be one. Uh, Deion Lewis may be another one. Allen Robinson may be another one. These are all good value picks, maybe because of injury or or just the situation they was in. They didn't perform, and they need the system to perform, like Don Terry Poe, for example. You know, but Johnson, I mean, I mean, there is there's there is a bright spot to that. He was good at defending touchdowns and stuff of that nature. But he also at six two and two hundred and whatever pounds can flex to safety. You know, if you don't think his feet is good enough or he's not good enough in man coverage or just from the DB position, he can play safety. You know, he might have to work on tackling a little bit and some of the ins and outs of playing safety. But this is a guy that you can mold in safety. But then again, that's a crapshoot as well. If you're paying all that guaranteed money and contract money to a guy, and you not you know he don't pan out at cornerback, which he really hasn't panned out on a consistent basis at cornerback. You put him at safety, and that's a gamble. What if he never gets it, and then you waste the money, you owe him all this money. So I'm definitely not a promoter of the Lions getting Tremaine Johnson and breaking the bank. Um, you know, he can stay wherever the hell he at in L.A. or go to the Raiders, and the Raiders continue to spend on, on DBs, and they not produce. Um, I think they got Bashar Breeland over there at one point. They had Sean, Sean, uh, Sean Smith over there at one point. DJ Hayden didn't work out for him. They had a lot of corners that, that shit the bed over there in, in, in Oakland and not Las Vegas Rams. We're about to be Las Vegas Rams. Tremaine Johnson will be a long, uh, be another person that long line of, of shitty cornerbacks the Oakland Raiders has had over the last few years. You know, the Rams, I mean, why would you pay this guy? You know, you can go get you another young corner. I know you want to try to, uh, pair him up with, uh, with, uh, Marcus Peters, but I don't know. I don't think so, man. I don't think he's a premier corner and he ain't got, I ain't paying him. I just say it that way. I ain't paying him what he looking for. You know, he ain't that type of corner. He ain't no Ramsey or he ain't no Janoris Jenkins or Tlaib or Chris Harris, in my opinion. That ain't him. You know, he need to, uh, he might not figure that out right now or a team might overpay him like the Redskins maybe, but I wouldn't pay this guy, man. I wouldn't pay him. Not what he looking for, man. Definitely enough for the for the Lions. We out.